I definitely just sat down to film this and I said, you need cat ears. Like there's just too much space happening right here. <laughs> also, lipstick. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen this series before, basically what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page and give you my thoughts on them, whether I think I'm going to add them to my wishlist or if I think they're a total washout. So before we jump into the video proper, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series and you want to see any more in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video today is like the gloomiest of days out it's like already raining it's hot like hot rain is my least favorite weather out of all of them because a I hate humidity anyone with curly hair or frizzy hair will tell you the same and B like you can't like bundle up against it because it's hot outside so if you wear like what I'm wearing now for work like a dress and a cardigan and leggings and boots because it's raining you're gonna be sweating by the time you get to work I could go on for hours about how much I hate hot rain but you know what let's jump into <laughs> the actual video so I think we have quite a few products to talk about as always I'm taking these photos and information from the Trend Mood Instagram page, which I will link down below. And I'm also going to be throwing photos up here so you guys can look along with me. Okay, so we're going to start with Morphe today. It looks like they're coming out with some mini highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. Honestly, other than their eyeshadow palettes, I haven't tried any Morphe makeup. So now that they're coming out with minis and they're between like 6 and $7, I would most likely try them out. I don't know if they're going to be available online because it says coming soon in all stores so I don't know if you can get these online. If you can get them online I would at least get one of each just so I could try out the formula and see how it works with my skin because that is a really affordable price and the pans look fairly large and they do look big enough for you to actually get a brush into which is my biggest gripe with minis is that not all of them are like feasible if that makes sense. Like a mini highlighter is fine because you can get a little highlighter brush in there but like a mini blush or a mini bronzer like how am i gonna get the brush in there you know okay next the kylie cosmetics and kourtney kardashian collab just came out they had a couple of like lip kits some eyeshadow palettes honestly none of them really interested me i see a couple of like quads that came out i know they were trying to build hype for this for a while they have a couple of different quads but, I mean, it didn't really grab me. And honestly, I don't really reach for small quads like that that often. I do have quite a few small palettes. And I'm trying to get myself to use them more. But if it's smaller than, like, a 10-pan palette, odds are I'm not really reaching for it. I'm not sure why. I don't know. I just like the, I call them medium-sized palettes, where it's 10 to, like, 20 shades. It's what I tend to reach for most. Next, it looks like Cosmo Cube, the makers of those like, like acrylic makeup holders, came out with a line of brushes. Honestly, I'm not sure what exactly like led them to do brushes since all they do is like makeup organizers. They look cute enough, but I mean, it's probably, I think it's the, if I'm not mistaken, it's their first like brush product. And even with the discount code that Trend Mood is handing out, I don't really think they're worth it. I think you can get great brushes from, you know, being selective at Morphe. You can get great brushes from Sigma. You can get great brushes from Wet n Wild. I don't see why you have to go to Cosmo Cube to get brushes. Actually, these look like the actual brushes themselves look a lot like the Wet n Wild brushes, like the bristles do. So Kat Von D just came out with a new everlasting liquid lipstick shade it's called tank girl and it's an olive green this is directly following up like um kylie cosmetics release of ironic which is kind of the same shade but i've never tried the i've never tried kat von d's liquid lipstick formula and i think this might be the shade that gets me to try out her formula i don't know what it is about greens that Oh, I just love greens. I love them. And I've been wanting to try out Kat Von D's formula, but I haven't found a shade that, you know, I really want to try out before this one. So I really think I'm going to pick this one up. It looks like it's available now online. I'm going to see if I can get it from Sephora if it comes to, like, their stores. We finally saw the inside of the Venus 3 from Lime Crime. And honestly, it's kind of a bit of a letdown. 
I mean, it's fairly neutral with like one pop of purple. So if you take away that purple in the middle, it looks like the Naked 3 palette. Yeah, so I mean, between my Naked 3 and my Blood Sugar palette, I don't need this palette. So definitely going to pass on that. Oh my god, it's like pouring outside. Can you guys hear that? I'm definitely gonna Uber to work today. I'm not gonna walk to work. <laughs> so it looks like the JLo and Inglot collection is going to be available in stores at Macy's. I really wanna see all of this stuff in store. I wanna swatch it if I can. I wanna see all of the different products. If I can get to a Macy's and actually check out all the products, I'll see what I wanna pick up there. Cause I know their first palette was a bit of a letdown, but I saw a couple of eyeshadow palettes that had more like green olive tones to them and those intrigued me and I am interested in maybe like if there's a highlighter that comes out or maybe a bronze like a separate bronzer because you know JLo is known for her highlight and her bronze so I might not be getting like the eyeshadows from this collection because they're a little neutral but I'd be interested in the bronzer or the highlight. Smashbox Cosmetics is coming out with a new cover shot palette and it actually looks I mean, I was really interested at first, but then I realized the only thing drawing me to this palette is that teal. If I cover up the teal, once again, it looks like every other... It looks just like the Venus 3. Like, if you cover that teal up. Maybe I just need to get more, like, teal, like, individual shadows. Which, actually, I just got a whole bunch of great blue shadows from Davina Cosmetics. I picked up Davina Cosmetics dupe for the... Oh, no. So I'm not a huge fan of the palette that they like included with the bundle because it, it seems a little cheap. The magnetizing isn't really strong enough to hold all the shadows in securely enough. So I'll be moving it to a new palette soon. But I did pick up the Davina Cosmetics bundle dupe for the Tarte Icy Betch like April Fools palette. And I'm loving all the shadows. So you get two highlighters and 12 actual eyeshadows. Most of them are beautiful shades of blue with one stunning green right here. And then a lovely duochrome right there. I love these. I especially love these royal blues on the lower lash line. If you've seen any of my recent videos, I've probably had this palette on. So I'm really enjoying this palette. So I find that I can get like those pops of color that other companies are just throwing into their palettes out of these singles. So I find that it's a little bit easier to turn away from those palettes when they only really have one interesting pop of color. So it looks like Too Faced is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. It looks very pink. It looks pretty neutral. But I'd be really interested to see the full palette. I really did enjoy the Chocolate Gold palette from Too Faced. The only problem with Too Faced is that it is so hit and miss. Some of their eyeshadow palettes are stunning, they're beautiful, they're staples in so many people's collections. But then some of their palettes, especially their holiday palettes, are just horrible, off the wall, like terrible. So, I mean, with it being so hit or miss, you really have to see it in the store, you really have to swatch it, you really have to watch reviews, and you really have to see if the color scheme speaks to you. So I really want to see the whole palette, and then I want to see if I can find it like in store. It looks like Wet n Wild is coming out with one of their new highlighters and it looks like a beautiful silvery tone with like a hummingbird etched on it. It looks very similar to one of their other limited edition shades. I'll pull it out right here. Okay, so the shade here, I don't know what the actual name is, but, but from the picture it looks very similar to Diamond Lily, which was their limited edition like silver highlighter that came with the grapho gothic collection i believe it was called gothographic gothographic collection so i mean they look very similar just from the picture i'm not sure exactly what like shade it's supposed to be so i would be interested to see swatches because i do love their highlighter formula i did make my own quad right here of a bunch of their mega glow highlighting powders but if it is similar to the one that i already have i probably won't pick it up but if it looks different enough i'll see if i can grab it mm. and the last thing that i'm going to talk about today is the new laura lee eyeshadow palette nudie patootie i mean it looks boring as all hell like warm neutrals some shimmers also it's expensive it's an indie brand i'm not really a huge fan of laura lee so nothing is really drawing me to this palette like at all maybe for her fans it's great to have one of her palettes maybe if you're 
not that into makeup you need these neutral colors but honestly like if you're on youtube if you're watching a lot of these videos odds are you have at least a little bit of a makeup collection or a little bit of knowledge about makeup so i don't know exactly who this is supposed to be marketed to if that makes any sense but um i'm not really interested in that one and that's going to be it for this week's weekly wish list or a washout. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the series. And subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!